Atlantic salmon populations are in, in a state of decline. They are all throughout the Maritimes and in Newfoundland as well. However, the Miramichi has seen a, a larger decrease than most because of this growing striped bass population that we have in the river. And uh, we've seen, uh, we've been working with the Atlantic Salmon Federation for the last dozen years, putting transmitters on young salmon smolts, monitoring their movements as they go out of the river and into the ocean and beyond the Strait of Belle Isle. And um, what we found is that we had a 70% survival uh, back a, a decade ago that would make it out to the, through Miramichi Bay. And this has dropped continuously over the last 10 years so that this year the preliminary numbers are that it's less than 25% are making it out. So at the same time, in the rest of Goose to the north of us, they're still getting 70%. So 70% is about a natural number. So if this keeps up, all the populations are down. Ours is going to plummet to the point where we're going to become an endangered uh, river. We need to do something to protect the, the salmon populations everywhere, but particularly on the Miramichi, which is the largest salmon producer in North America. Uh, we, are, we are on the cusp of perhaps not, not having enough salmon to sustain itself. So we all have a role to play. So one of the main uh, focuses that the MSA has been on is to how do we get more f adult fish back in the river? So we formed a partnership with the CAS Consortium, which is made up of a number of groups and private sector partners. And our goal now is to capture some of these Atlantic salmon smolts as they're leaving the river before the bass get to eat them bring them into our hatchery facility and grow them up to be adult fish to release back to go up the river and spawn naturally where they came from. And so we've been bringing fish in, we've been rebuilding our facility, and we are full of fish now, we're ready to go. So over the next few years, we hopefully will have 5,000 adult fish to put in the river each year. So that's a contribution, you know, the Greenland buyout is going to bring maybe 2,000 fish back to the Miramichi each year. That, that's a great deal, ASF is doing that. Uh, we're, we're going to try to put five in through our efforts, but if they're all going to be eaten up by other species, it's all for naught. We need to get that straight bass population under control. And it's the flick of a pen. Our politicians can make that happen today. Our First Nations need those fisheries, those commercial fisheries. They're ready and willing to, to do their part. I think it's time to act. So Miramichi Watershed Management Committee is, is really concerned because it's our policy that we want the whole watershed managed in equilibrium. So we want a healthy population of everything that lives in it. Currently what has happened, there's been a big explosion of our striped bass and therefore obviously the watershed is, is out of equilibrium and we believe that it's necessary to bring that back into equilibrium.